NBC2 News Today. Welcome back. We're joined now by Dr. Cedarquist, who has some new information about a link between breast cancer and diet. What did a recent study find? Well, this was actually two studies that were actually looking at postmenopausal women and their diets and the risk of breast cancer. The first was a very large study. 35,000 women um, followed in London for eight years, and they, women were between 35 and the uh, late 60s. And what they found is that women who had the highest intake of grilled or smoked red meat had a 45% increased risk of breast cancer. And women who had the highest intake of processed meats, processed meats being things like salami or sausages, you know, things that are not running around in life, but we've created them into meat forms, had even a higher risk, which was in the 50% higher risk of breast cancer. An American study followed um, 1,500 women who actually were diagnosed with breast cancer and compared them to 1,500 women without breast cancer, queried them about their diets. And what they found is those who, again, had the highest intake of grilled or smoked red meats had a significantly increased risk of breast cancer compared to women who had a very low amount of that in their diet. So this is smoked or grilled red meats. What about fish and poultry? What the study showed is that there was no association with grilled fish or chicken or smoked poultry or, or fish. They're finding it only with regards to the red meat. So now is it the grilling or smoking process that they believe is causing this? What the theory is, is that the, the red meat itself, when it is cooked at high temperatures, possibly because of the level of fat in it, produces some carcinogens, <clears throat> excuse me. And these are called heterocyclic amines and polycyclic hydrocarbons. It's felt that the particular risk factor with postmenopausal women is that it may interact with the estrogen and then cause some problems in the breast that ends up leading towards breast cancer. So I know that a balanced diet is obviously important. What else did they find with a diet in relation to breast cancer? What I think is remarkable about the study that was done in the U.S. is that women who had the highest intake of the grilled red meats but then also had a very low intake of fruits and vegetables, less than five servings per day, which we always hear, actually had the highest risk of breast cancer, 74%. But when they had women with a high intake of red meat, but they also had a high intake of fruits and vegetables, more than five per day, they did not see that association. So the thought is maybe the phytochemicals in fruits and vegetables may protect against the carcinogens that come from cooking red meat at high temperatures. I think there's so many things about breast cancer we don't understand. There's so many risk factors. It's certainly not from eating red meat. That's the only thing that causes it. But I think that this goes again with the other recommendations to have high intakes of fruits and vegetables and to limit the intake of red meat to maybe once or twice a week is probably a very safe bet, not only for heart disease risk, but also for cancer. Any opportunity to encourage people to eat their fruits and vegetables, I know you'll take it. Yes, that's true. Thank you so much for being here. 866-401-3438 or go to www.bistromd.com.